What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Action Mind from Unreal Investments. Take a second, go check us out on Twitter at Unreal Investments. Check us out on YouTube. We're dropping video that's gonna help make your pockets fatter. Make sure y'all like some of our videos, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. So, today I'm here with the Crypto Lifestyle family. And of course, I'm coming with another video that's gonna help you guys grow your portfolio. Now, I've never been a financial advisor. Do not do as I do. Do not follow as I say. Let's get into this video. It's the crypto lifestyle, baby. I mean, at this point, I'm starting to turn into the Theta guy, but I don't mind claiming that title because Theta is one beast of a project. And if you guys have been living under a rock, or you've been paying attention to dog coins, I wanna bring you up on a project that is doing some incredible things in this crypto space that if you have some diamond hands, you have hands of steel, you will reap the rewards. Now, I know a lot of you guys are paper-handed people and you will not stand the test of time. You will not have the fortitude to withhold through drops click out of this video this is not for you but for you guys who are here for the long haul i have a beautiful project that is doing some beast monstrous things in the space and i'm talking about no other than theta that just had their mainnet 3.0 and these guys said this is going to be the last mainnet so no more mainnets this is it Let's get into what has actually happened with this mainnet 3.0 and how you can actually still benefit from all of the upgrades that they just made to the Theta network. Uh, so I wanna start by referencing my source. Yes, it's a force of habit for some of us guys that went to college. Now I know a lot of you guys may be thinking this beautiful, beautiful information came out of my genius brain. It did not. I found it on the internet and I thought I will share some of it with you guys. So I want to start by breaking down what is an edge node and what is an elite edge node. See, I have to break down this, this vernacular so you're not completely lost as I traverse this video. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just throwing out all these big words at you guys because this is huge. This is important. I'm trying to get this through your brain. So read with me because my memory is not that good. I can't memorize exactly this definition. So let's get into it. So what is an edge node? Edge nodes allow users to relay video streams over the Theta network and they are rewarded with beautiful, beautiful T fuel for doing such a valiant effort. Now that we know what's an edge node, what is an elite edge node? Imagine we just feed an edge node a sensu bane. I'm, I'm sure you guys watch Goku. You feed it a sensu bane and it powers up. Ah, it's getting stronger and it's making us richer. That's an elite edge node. But if you want the more sophisticated way, let's read. Let's, let's read. <laughs> I know y'all hate reading. So now edge nodes will become elite edge nodes, which enables uptime mining. This is the tokenization of the internet bandwidth and availability. So if you want to create an elite edge node, you would have to stake T fuel to an edge node. This allows you to earn some sick, sick passive rewards. I mean, at one point, these guys were dishing out 37% returns. Yeah, 37% is ridiculous. That was short lived because the more TV you let us stake, the less rewards are going to be dished out. So that 37 or whatever that ridiculous 30 ish percent number was, it has been greatly reduced. And right now, the last time I saw it, it was 19%. I encourage you guys to get it while it's available. See, you cannot say Action Man never told y'all. I'm looking out for y'all right now. I'm telling y'all what I'm doing, and you can follow if you choose to. Now, the whole process for this thing is called uptime mining. See, I told you guys, I'll have to break down the vocabulary for this whole Theta network. And the reason they call it uptime mining is because Theta is providing some sick incentives for guys to either purchase some T-Fuel and run a node, or for dudes who are already running a node to run it even longer and stronger. And all of this is going to be a huge boost to Theta's network is gonna make it more efficient. These new T-Fuel rewards will come at a two to 4% token inflation. 
hopefully incentivizing Elite Edge nodes to grow in a number of tens of thousands, supplying the sufficient bandwidth to the network catering to millions of Theta.TV users world. Wide and if you guys take a look at Theta's Block Explorer, you can see the number of T fuel has exploded. But some of you guys are not paying attention, y'all are not aware. I just made a video on this last week, and you're still not paying attention. Last week, it was a few million. Today, what is it? <laughs> 1 billion, 1.1 with a B. Alien. Okay, so now I'm gonna get into why this is so important. Why is this such a big deal at the end of the video? Supply and demand, and if you understand that, you know why this project is gonna grow. Now I know a lot of you rational people are going to sit in the comments and try to figure out, wait, did he just say sick staking rewards or great passive income? Is that not going to increase inflation in the token? Oh, I don't want it. Listen, my friend, these guys implemented some kind of T-fuel burning mechanism that is going to take care of that pesky inflation for you. Okay, so Theta Network is also introducing a T-fuel burn function, adding a level of deflationary balancing pressure to the token. The Elite Edge Network will now enforce a rule where at least 25% of each T-fuel payment will be burned. This can be seen as a fee for using the Theta network. It's very similar to how ETH has an Ethereum fee, how you pay those ETH gas fees, but you're paying hundreds of bucks. It's the same thing with T Fuel, except we're paying a few, is it even a few bucks? It's a little bit, it's, it's, it's a little bit, but we've definitely increased the amount of T Fuel that are used in transactions just to counteract the amount of inflation that we're having. I mean, these guys thought of everything. So this alone should increase the amount of utility for T Fuel to combat the actual staking rewards that a lot of persons are going to be fighting for. T Fuel will be burnt while the network grows and larger amounts are permanently removed. The Theta network will then be able to essentially match the burning rate of T Fuel to the inflation rate. Remember, the T Fuel inflation rate is paid to node operators, creating a theoretically stable circulating supply. So the circulating supply is not gonna go out of whack. We're not gonna see it shoot from 5 billion T Fuel to 6, 7, 8, or 10 billion T Fuel. That is not gonna happen. Now that you've had a chance to Inhale all of that juicy information about the T fuel staking rewards being balanced by the T fuel burning. I want to take you down a path of something else that's coming about on the Theta network that's going to increase the utility of T fuel and actually the price potential again. If you guys have been on Twitter lately, you would have seen that one of the world's biggest pop artists, Katy Perry, who has millions of fans on Instagram, millions of followers on YouTube, and millions of followers on Twitter, announced that in quarter four, she's launching her NFTs on none other than, you guessed it, Theta's network. Action man, who cares? I'll tell you who cares. People who want to get freaking rich. That's who cares. I'll elaborate for you guys why this is important. See, all of these pieces all come together to make one giant monster that is Theta Zillow. Now, if you guys go to Twitter right now and you search for Katy Perry's latest post where she said, I'm dropping my NFTs on the Theta blockchain, I encourage you guys to go through the comments and scroll because this is where the normies are at and this is how mass adoption happens. Sit back and observe. Let's observe the normies in their natural habitat. A lot of these guys do not know, one, what the hell is an NFT? Two, what the heck is a theta and a blockchain? This is good. We got them right where we want them, guys. And here's why. Without a major influencer like Katy Perry with millions of followers, who would ever know about Theta's NFTs? Who would ever know about Theta? 
A lot of persons are familiar with Bitcoin and Ethereum, but they've never heard of Theta. That's why persons like Katy Perry are extremely important. Now, I want to show you something that's going to connect the dots. Follow me, guys. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Don't get lost. Come on, let's go, let's go. These fans are what? Fanatical. They will buy almost anything some of these artists put out because they are fans. They're going to follow Katy Perry's lead all the way to the Theta Marketplace and they're going to buy these NFTs. These NFTs can be in the form of cover art. This can be concert tickets. This could be anything that's related to Katy Perry and her brand, which is a big deal. Because when they start purchasing these items, tea fuel is going to be burned under the hood. Like I said, this is increased utility and it's gonna it's gonna add even more gas to the tea fuel fire because she has a lot of fans who are going to be coming into the ecosystem. Yeah. So check out T Fuel, guys. It's it's definitely one to watch, and I think it's going to do extremely well over the next few years because Mainnet 3.0 just started. The rewards just started. What do you think this is going to look like next year? And I think this is one that could potentially hold up even through the bear market. So with all that being said, guys, I am Action Man from Unreal Investments. Go ahead, check us out on YouTube, Twitter. Be sure to like this video. Make sure y'all subscribe. Stop getting free information and not subscribing, y'all. That's rude. And until next time, peace out.